What's up everybody? Welcome to Epic 7. This is going to be our new player guide for the 6th anniversary. I know a lot of new players are going to be coming into the game and so I wanted to do something to try to help out a little bit. So throughout the game you're going to be making pit stops is what I like to call them. Um, there are going to be places in the game where you're just going to like stop to do stuff and you're one of your first ones you're going to do is basically you want to follow the prompts that they give you. Um, one of the first things you're going to do is you're going to stop at 1-4 and at 1-4 they're going to make you summon basically. You just get whatever unit you get. Um, don't ignore my dead shoe that I got right there. But starting off guys, you will be getting um, summons for this 6th uh, anniversary. So we're getting um, 10 plus summons a day. Um, I think it should be 10. It might be 11. Uh, I think they gave us an extra one for the free summon. Um, you're going to be getting that, but there will be a couple places we want to look at every day. We're going to want to look at our Epic Dash Pass, which is right here. And you're going to pick up different things every day. So right now, I already picked up my um, energy for the day. But if you want to go down to this Dash Pass, you say you have daily missions here. You have weekly missions here. Uh, daily missions, you're going to want to do these every day. And your weekly missions, you want to try to finish those by the end of the week because you're going to want to get those um, done. I think if you're doing your daily missions, you may finish your weekly missions. But this is some of the things you're going to want to be working on as a new player because this is uh, where you get your advantage at. Um, basically, this is your catch-up mechanic that they added for the 6th anniversary. As you see down at the bottom, you have 54 days for this. So whether you're starting late or starting on time, you should be able to get through the majority of this stuff pretty quick. Um, I'm wondering if the next week, a lot of this stuff, uh, each week will be open. You better do two weeks within one. I'm really not sure yet. We will know next week. But, yeah, you want to be doing these. So right here, we did our daily uh, covenant summon. So it's going to give us XP for our pass down here at the bottom. As you can see, I got the rank one reward already. We want to receive this. This is going to upgrade our stuff. As you see, we upgraded our dash pass here. And I'm going to tap the close, rank two, as you see. And now we're on rank two. So now we can grab this item, which is going to be our Thunderous Day epic weapon here. Got pretty okay stats on it. So, I mean, these are stats you want for damage dealers. So. You want your attack, your speed, your crit rate, your damage. So, I mean, it probably if it rolls well, it could be decent. If not, you know, it is what it is. We're eventually going to want to be farming um, a thing we call a wyvern here in um, Epic 7. But right now, we're not worried about that. But yeah, um, we can take a look at the shop here so I can show you some of the stuff I'm talking about. You also get like a little free gold and energy thing here. You want to get missed every day. As you run out of stuff, well, you can get it before you run out. To be honest, it's just gonna overflow your um, your energy for a little while. Um, the silver enchantments; these are these green things down here at the bottom. You're gonna use those to buy different things. So, Molagor is one of the things you need. You need those to level your skills up in this game. Um, we have our uh, um, friendship. What is it called? Friendship? Friendship points? Um, this is going to be you get those from your friends and using your friends during, the, during your missions and stuff. So you just want to add friends as you go so that you can be getting friend points. So you can be able to grab this energy and you get conquest points from doing arena, which we're nowhere near doing arena yet. But, um, yeah, let's go to our normal shop. No, transmit shop. And this is what I was talking about, the gold transmit. This gives you galaxy bookmarks. Once you get six, that's what you're going to want to use to um, have a good chance of getting some moonlight characters. Um, Five-star hero ticket. You never want to get this. And uh, it gives you four and five stars, but you never want to get this. You'll get the units eventually, especially once you start pulling on banners. Um, Connections is another thing we're going to be looking at. I think it is not opening yet. It didn't open it yet. But it's going to be at this table. You're going to see someone sitting here, and that gives you um, something. Um, they give you like 
missions that, that um, you used to be able to unlock them. Um, these little red dots you see everywhere, that means something is there for you to do or that you've received. For instance here, we received this gold just by playing. And yeah, so we're gonna go ahead and our next milestone point or pit stop is gonna be somewhere in the story, guys. So yeah, we're gonna just go through the story and try to three star it as we go. Um, as you see, I three star each one of these. And how you tell if you're able to three star a um, thing is right here on the right. Initial clear the story period, open the gold chest. So I do each one of these to get my each star next to it. So that is how we progress. And we'll go back for a second. As you can see here, it says quest on the right side. This also gives you um, different stuff as you go along. You're gonna receive this periodically so that you can um, keep getting your stuff. Because um, you might need that stuff, that um, those materials. Like right here it has um, sky stones, not sky stones, um, runes. I wanted to say frost runes, but anyway. But you need those to uh, awaken some of your units. So you're gonna be getting those. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and start going to the game and I'll be back with you guys at 10 10 Real quick guys while we're in a friendly map um, I want to talk about stages with, with morale Your characters do get morale and here's the levels of morale right here um, As you go throughout the stage your morale will go down and down and down You can able to look at the map here um, as you go through you can go through here and each time you go to a different direction your morale as you go will change for instance here we're going to go ahead and talk to her real quick i think we had to then we're going to go as you're going to see as we go our morale will start to go down it's at 32 now and it's at 31 now and you want to keep an eye on it because as it get to uh the red or I would say as it gets to the orange, you want to be trying to get out of the stage because at that point you get a you get a negative you get a negative bonus. Uh, let's see, at the orange you get a negative to your attack, HP, and defense, and then it goes down farther and farther as you go. So it makes you weaker as you go through uh, labyrinth stages like this. So you want to be um, wary of that. But this is a friendly one, so there is nobody to fight here. So that was, that's why it was a great one for me to talk to you about this. But, it, but yeah, I think they just wanted you to walk around here. I don't think there was anywhere, anything to fight in this one. But you you just want to go and talk to... Uh, you're really looking for the chest, and then you want to talk to um, the head person here. But also, you get 100% clear. The blue on your map... It's where you clear it through. So you want to go through this anyway. So just so you can say that you cleared it. Uh, if you have to redo it, that's fine to clear it. But you want to be, you want to be clearing these out. Like, you want to have 100% on these. I don't know if, because on some, some of these lambs, 100% is needed to be able to three star it. But yeah, guys. We'll be back when we get out of the labyrinth, and we got a little more, one more other topic to talk about. But see you back later. All right, guys. The other topic I want to talk about: a one five. You're gonna get your auto battle finally. So you're gonna click this button at the top. Also, you're gonna get your speed up. So if you want to double up right there, that speeds up your uh, movement. So for instance, if I move here, that speeds it up. And then we're going to hit auto battle. Auto battle is going to automatically do things for us. Um, I'm skipping through the story. If you would like to read the story, read the story, man. It's a, this, this is part of the joy of the game is reading the story. Um, this video is going to be pretty long. Hopefully, I can be able to cut it off in like about 30 minutes. But, guys, that's a part of the joy of the game is enjoying everything about it. The animations, the story, you know, enjoy it because Epic 7 is... It's a hard game, but once you get past some of it, it's it's really enjoyable. It's a lot um, 
that they do in this game that just makes it very enjoyable. Anyway, guys, I see you back at our milestone. The next milestone should be 10-10. Um, it's going to be a lot to play. And you guys probably going to get tired. But if you don't have a lot of time, you can always can take a break and come back. Um, that's the thing about mobile games is that people forget is that it's a mobile game. You're not supposed to just sit and sit and sit and play. Um, play what you can and then come back and play some more later, guys. Anyway, I'll see you back at 10-10. Guys, next point real quick. Um, I, I popped out. I forgot to tell you guys. Go in your heroes and lock your heroes. You want to lock them because eventually you're going to get to 50 fast or you're going to get to your max pretty fast. So you want to lock them so that you don't accidentally um, feed them or do something with them and then they be gone off your account. So you lock at least one of your units. Don't lock all of them, lock at least one copy. That way you won't lose every copy of your unit. You'll be doing a lot of summons in this game uh, these first weeks as you play and you just don't want to lose all of your units. So um, except for your, these two stars, we don't really care about them like that, but everything else you most definitely want to lock because these units you might use one day, some of them you might not use at all, but Lock them just in case so you can have them. And then if you don't want to remove the ones you don't have, the, don't, the ones you don't want to use, you can, you can actually go ahead and um, go and move them to your waiting room. This is what the waiting room is for. So for instance, I'm probably not going to use Leia anytime soon, Fury, Ragnar Vol, Ta uh, Carrot, Tots. Uh, I thought about using Kali, but probably not. I'm just going to leave her there for now. Um, Aether is not getting used anytime soon. Put those in your waiting room. That's the way to get them out of your inventory and you can still have them locked and ready for when you're ready to use them. Anyway, guys, we'll see you back in the next part. All right, ladies and gentlemen, you may come out and notice two things at some point in time. One, that you have Spirit Tiaria available and all you want to do is go into your Ventures Path and go to Beautiful Pursuer, which is uh, Spirit Tiaria's mission, and you want to grab her. And then you can grab some of her stuff to be able to awaken her when it's time to. Uh, I think I can't awaken her right now. And then you also are going to notice Moonlight's Lesson to your right. This is where we're going to get some perspective to Nibria. Um, you can pick one of the other units, just know that. Spectus Nibia is going to be one of the better ones to get. Um, Vildred is pretty good too because he got an EE now. Uh, second EE. I mean, he has an EE now, so um, he's going to be good too. Um, so you can pick him up. I think Spectus Nibia is the better one. She can help you in the story as well as she's decent in PvP. Um, she's not as good as she used to be in PvP to me. Um, I didn't even use her in the last kind of push rush thing, but yeah. You got Ruel, Dark Corvus, Judge Kise, and Martial Arts Ken. Martial Arts Ken is decent too, but he needs uh, a lot of gear. So he's good for new players. The only one that's really decent for new players is the Audrey Vigil. The Audrey Vigil, excuse me. Fence and Every. So yeah, we're going to go ahead and grab her. Now, if you just so happen to pull one of these units on your Moonlights whenever you get Moonlights unlocked, uh, you can always change them out. You can only change them out once though, so be careful with that. And this is going to give us some more uh, information, but here now you're going to find out how you unlock her for each content. So you six star promote her. Um, to be able to six star promote her, you need to reach level 60 with two heroes. To awaken her, you need to be awakened three star or higher with five with five star heroes and the skill enhancer you obtain regional rewards and unrecorded history episode one let's be a little while away as well from episode one of unrecorded history assigned to the defensive teams you get the you gotta reach go five which is not hard in the arena once you get uh, your gear stuff going um, let's see if we have the Obomu stuff yet we don't have any stuff yet so I do have a little bit more to push. I hadn't pushed that far, but once I reach 10-10, I start to get premium moonlights, 
and you also get access to Go Blow Moon at episode 179. So let's, I'm gonna be right back when I get to some more things that I need to talk about, guys. Um, this guy's gonna have a lot of cuts in it, but just bear with us, bear with me here. All right, guys, we're gonna be double dipping here. Spirit Auto, it needs to be clear. On easy difficulty, a higher for seven day, for the first day of Arky's seven day growth. And then also on Beautiful Pursuer here, which is a uh, free spirit area, we need to clear it for her. We also need to do Hunt once, and then we're gonna promote her to five star. And we're gonna get some gear here that we're gonna be able to throw on her. And she could take us all the way through um, through most of the story with just her rods and Mercedes or her rods and um, what's it called it um, suspect the scenario and the stain of course but yeah uh, so we're gonna be doing that uh, at this point and after that guys for your homework I'm giving you some homework um, I did say I was, I was gonna get the 10 10 I'm probably gonna do it tonight while I'm chilling but that's what you need to do to get past stage one ten ten because the next day we need to be moving on to doing some different stuff. Uh, I will say also if you would like to, um, and ten ten is going to be East Tiranar. So once you finish that, you're pretty much finished with this area, and you'll be moving to a different area. But yeah, I'm not going to show you that right now. But um, also you could be dipping and doing some more of these things on our growth growing adventurer or adventurous path stuff so here we'll be doing a random battle one time that's one you're going to want to do we're double dipping here against spirit altar um you also want to enhance some more of your gear a little bit which if you if you could tell right here this is before four four so before you get to Stage four or four, you're gonna to want to be to upgrade um, some enhancement your gear to nine a little bit, and then we already did Labyrinth and Awaken the Hero, so this is one that's gonna be pretty much done. We do some of those things, but just keep advancing your gear, your um, growing adventure, adventurous path, and add up adventurous path as much as you can. Um, you know, those are gonna be your main guidelines. And then tomorrow, or the day after this is posted, which would be day two for this account, we'll talk some more about the things we need to be doing. Also, join a guild. There's a um, guild if you want here, and can we skip this? You can't skip this yet. Right, there we go. You wanna just join a guild. Um, you can join any guild and then join another one later. Um, I would say go to um, deities. Uh, Discord and there's gonna be plenty of people showing uh, fo doing this says guild for daily followers this one literally is a new guild for him so some of them have it in their description so you might just want to go in here and find you know find it uh, but these are just basically going to be for um, people who are going to play the game a lot you know so um, you can find your own guild for coins if you wanted to but I would say join one to start off with. If you want to do one later, that's something you can do. But guys, that's going to be all for this video. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments. I'll try my best to answer them. Also, like go to Deity's um, Discord, or you can go to my Discord. My Discord really isn't active because uh, my channel isn't that pop. It's not that popular. I, I'm, I'm going to say people watch my videos, but they don't subscribe. So I haven't built much of a community. But regardless, I still love the people that watch my videos. Anyway, guys, don't forget to like and subscribe on the way out. And I'll see you in the next video. And one last thing, guys. I just wanted to remember. I forgot to tell you. Or remember, but this is also part of your homework. Do your dailies. And make sure you do the Moonlight Summons that you're going to get unlocked right here. It should be right here after you get the 1010. And... Do Gobla moves, Gobla move. Do his um, treasure stuff. That's gonna give you more um, equipment to put on your other units. So you can finish this after seven nine. So at least get the seven nine or ten ten. I mean, if you don't, I mean, you want to get your premium 
more, uh, summons every day. So that's why we're trying to get the 1010. We don't really care about Rift yet. We have to get, we have to be rank 60 just to do it anyway. So guys, make sure you do on that at least. And let me see your dailies real quick. I can show you those. Um, at this point, if you follow me through the guide a little bit right now, you should have most of this done already. I've done um, started adventure, side, I mean, side stories, or do your adventures. Um, we got covenant summon done. Penguins have been used. Equipment has been enhanced. The only thing you have to do probably after that would be either to do hunts, which we, we're doing as homework, because that's a part of uh, the adventurous path and brutal pursuer and arena if you want to do fight those three or ten times you only need one or two of these because you want to get to 100 so that you can get that sky stones for the day but you can do both of these if you would like and that's all you got to do guys moonlight summons goblin moose treasure storage thing and the dailies for reputation guide make sure we do those and i'll see you guys in the next video